Good morning, happy Monday morning. Oh, I just got goosebumps, that was really good. It's Monday and we are having a productive week this week. I'm home alone this week because my sister and my family are skiing. Um, choose for the invite. But I got my fix of snow last week, it was good. I am gonna sit here, it's now, it's a little bit later in the morning than what I would like to admit, it's 10, which I know isn't that late, but I did set my alarm for eight. And I did really wanna get up early and have a really productive morning, but my body needed a little bit of a lion. <coughs> and I'm a little bit sick. We're gonna sit here, organize my week. Yeah, I got my things that I need to achieve today. Ooh. I also need to head into uh, Central at some point and meet Jack because um, I miss him. I don't need a reason to see him. But also, <laughs> I need to get my jacket that I got last week at the House of Sunny event. If you guys watched my video from last week, you would have seen. But this week, I thought, why not switch it up and do like a what I eat in a week? But then I thought, let's level that up. Actually, I didn't. It was Jack's idea, so props to you, Jack. But let's do a... What I eat in a week, like Emily Mariko style diet, like the food she makes is typically what I make for myself. However, time poor and on a Tesco budget. Wrap your head around that, but that's what we're doing this week. I usually do this every Sunday, but I didn't have a chance yesterday, so doing it a little bit later. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna work out what days I'm working this week, what meals that I'm going to prep for myself and what meals I need to consider. And then we're gonna go for a little bit of a grocery shop today while I'm in Central because um, it's pouring down rain and I don't want to walk all the way to Tesco. So I'm going to show you how I plan my meals and sort of meal plan yeah, so that I can sort of stick to a budget and not overspend because I feel like when I'm not, I don't have anything organized and I just am more tempted to go to the shop and just like buy a whole bunch of things when I know I've actually got heaps in the fridge. So I'm going to organize some things. I got my odd box delivery the other night, so I've got some, some fun things to play around with. Okay, so basically I use Notion as my sort of weekly guide. So I have my physical planner, which I write in as I go when I get my rosters and everything. So I have an idea before the week and then on a Monday or Sunday night, I sit down and write it all into my digital planner because I typically have access to this at all times. So I'll write the days of the week, the fourth, I chuck a little emoji in there, cute. So Notion is this really cool, uh, it's kind of like, basic coding I would say. Each page starts as a blank canvas and you can add all these blocks in. So I've set up this weekly template which I use and there's heaps of templates that you can use within the app. But yeah, this is this is what I use each week and then I've got sort of reoccurring things too. And then at the bottom I've got meal ideas and then usually under it I end up doing like groceries as well. So once I've edited in all of that, I'm gonna come up with a couple of meals at the bottom here that I wanna do this week based on the things that I've also got here. In Notion, I have my little recipe tab, which I have sort of made with a whole bunch of recipes that I found online that I like the look of. I typically save heaps on like TikTok and stuff, and then I forget where they all are. So I made shock sugar the other day, uh, and all it is is I just put a picture in the name and the link to the website and then just some like tags so that I can find them if I'm sort of low on inspiration, I guess. So I'll just quickly look through this and if there's anything that I know I've got in the fridge that I can make, then I might go ahead and like link that to the page. So I've got heaps of tofu. So maybe I'll do this. Basically then what I'll do is copy link back to my page and then chuck that in there. And then I'll come up with some other ideas. So I'm gonna do Yesterday I made a big thing of shock sugar and now I've got some left over.
Hey Queens, so I'm gonna do a grocery haul. By the way, this was the jacket I picked up the other day. I just wanna got it off Jack because I left it in his office. So I went to through Chinatown and I love doing my gross getting my stuff from there because in the UK it's actually really hard to get your hand on anything that isn't sort of like Western food, I guess. So I got some udon packets which are like cooked on their mushrooms and then I got like a mixed mushroom pack which I might use in like a stir fry then these cool things which are barbecue skewed dry bean curd but anyway I thought they were cool and I wanted to try them I got some more of my um crispy chili oil and then I got some sesame oil some vinegar because I need it for my meal tonight and also I haven't had any since I moved here. And then I got some fresh noodles, which I always love getting. So all of this came to 15 quid. It's just not that much considering it was like a pretty big stock up of like some sauces and stuff. I might try these. I'm gonna look up how to have them. I don't know if you're meant to heat them or have them as is. So we'll have that and then, yeah. Okay, so I just looked it up and you're meant to eat them from the packet, like you don't hate them up or anything. Mmm. Mmm. That's really good. Okay, those were like the best things that I've ever had. Okay, it's now been a fair bit of time. It's 6.30. Oh, 6.30, wow, time flies when you're on TikTok. Time for dinner. We're gonna be having some sticky cauliflower popcorn, sticky Korean sticky popcorn cauliflower. I might quickly go up to the shops and get myself a bottle of wine and enjoy my free time, enjoy my my night off from working and have a little bit of red while I do a little bit of cooking. So random, 10, 10.30 p.m. currently. I am making some noodles because I worked from 12 till nine at um, this new job I've started. It's like a restaurant maitre d slash host slash I don't even know. I had a lunch break, but it was at four and it was like dinner break as well. So, you know, anyway. I'm making some noodles, which I'm gonna use over the next couple days. Some soy. Yeah. 
crispy chili oil. Nice big teaspoon of that. Sesame oil, Chinese cooking vinegar, like black vinegar. I'm just gonna use a little bit. Obviously the sesame seeds, gotta chuck them in. A little bit drunk, cause I've had half a bottle of wine while I've been prepping the food. And then this is my favorite thing ever. If you don't own a single Asian sauce, just buy this. It's a really shitty brand, it's like the white and fine local. Wednesday morning and I've just done my yoga. Uh, it's about nine now. That is such a lie, it's now 10. I got up at eight, or like 7.30 because I heard the like, garbage collection and I realized I didn't put it out last night. So I ran out in my pajamas, half asleep, and had to chase down the garbage truck with the bins. We're gonna have breakfast. I'm gonna head up to the little shop on the corner and grab some eggs because I'm out. And I'm working a cheeky 12 hour shift, 13 hour shift today. I need to sustain my body. So I'm gonna have some eggs with the leftover rice that I had from the other night and make like a little goodness bowl. So. typically make two or three portions so at the moment I've got three different things in the fridge plus this that now I know tomorrow when I'm a little bit tighter on time I can just pick it up and reheat and then tonight when I come home from work late I've got this and if I want to come home from work on my lunch break because I live literally 10 seconds from where I'm working at the minute I can just chuck this in the microwave and I've got a really nice meal so I typically like overload at the beginning of the week or whenever I have like more time I'll make a really big portion and then I can eat nice food throughout the rest of the week and not have to like stress about it or resort to eating like two minute noodles or takeaway because I don't have time or energy to make it so I've got the other egg and a little bit of the extra rice and stuff in there and I'll just pop it in the fridge and I'll have it in the morning which I really like the packaging of. However, I hate blueberry flavored things. Do you feel me? Like a bit disgusting, right? So we'll see how this goes. Blueberry mint, really weird, but it says that it feels like a midnight swim. Good night. <laughs> Good morning, morning. I thought it was Friday, like all of this morning. And I was really excited. It's actually Thursday, so it's all going to that I actually we've got the whole weekend because we work weekends too. Just finished my yoga, just had a shower, washed my hair, 
laundry's on. We've done our reading, we've done our manifesting. Life is good. It's nine. Got to do some emails. Might heat up my breakfast, but first I'm going to have a coffee. Top of the morning to ya. Anyway, happy Friday morning. This is the final day of this. This morning, just walked up to the shops and got some some fair trade bananas. Always get fair trade if you can. It's really annoying that they're wrapped in plastic, which is really annoying. Anyway, and then I got some more yogurt. I say yogurt now because I get yelled at every time I say yogurt. I am making myself a coffee banana smoothie. So we're gonna do a salted caramel coffee and banana smoothie. There's a lot going on. I know what you're thinking. But I've just been really craving one. I haven't had like a banana smoothie in the longest time. I always just have like berries and shit. Oh, and also look what came this morning. Like, I know this was like not related at all, but like, got a little PR package from Bondi Sands, which if you've known me personally, since I was like 14, 13, I was that bitch that was coming to school with that fuck off line down your <laughs> my neck. Like religiously Thursday night was fake tanning. Fake tan was an addiction and Bondi Sands was the drug. Does that make sense? Anyway. Um, <laughs> I just, I've actually really wondered what it is as well for like when you're washing your face and stuff. So they've come out with a skin collection. Super keen to try that. Yes, I just wanted to say, that's just a little proud moment for me. 16 year old Liv would cream right now. best video I've ever made. Wow, I'm so glad we were all here to experience that. <laughs> so the reason that I like to put coffee in is because I want to have my coffee in the morning, but I still want to have my smoothie. And then that's just way too much liquid if I have them separately. So I just do a shot of coffee into it. I'm still like drinking a coffee, except I'm having breakfast at the same time. So it's like, if you're running late in the morning, just bang it all into one, one cup. Great. Okay, it's now Saturday morning. Yesterday I just worked and ate there. So they feed me well. And yeah, I'm gonna wrap up this vlog. I hope you liked seeing what I eat in a week. I hope you maybe got some ideas. I didn't even end up doing my tuna dish that I wanted to do, which is like my favorite thing in the world. But 